You know, the child support system in the United States is one of the most horrible systems ever in the world. And I even heard men in other Western countries complain about the child support system there. But there was a video that I kind of want to show y'all with the laws in the Dominican Republic for child support versus, you know, a case that's happening with child support right here in the United States to a man actually have his children. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Let's, let's think of one of my viewers. I, I have a lot of viewers who are military pensioners. So he comes here, let's say he's 48 years old. He comes here, he retires early and he has his pension. He meets a woman, they, he ends up getting her pregnant and the relationship's not, not all that. So he ends up leaving her. He moves to Puerto Plata. She's still in Sosua. Now she's taking him to court for child support. Like, what, how, does, what does, how does that work? Well, the thing is, most of the women, I'm not saying all of the women, but most of the women will have a child with a foreigner because they think that's going to be mon money, you know? Right, they just okay. They do it for the money. But it doesn't work like this because when you have a child, the law here says that it's half and half. Okay. Okay? So uh, if, if you pay 5000 the mother must pay 5000 as well. And the best way to do it is to take custody of the child and hear you take custody of the child period okay so let me ask you this if the mother has custody of the child and she says to you that she needs five thousand pesos which yeah. is a hundred dollars american yeah. then she has to prove to you that she spent that money exactly. and then you give a hundred you give a hundred dollars so if, if she has custody okay. and right. she says Okay, the child costs 10,000 pesos per month. 200 American bucks a month. You say, okay, I'll give you 100. Right. And you will pay for 100 as well. And then she will probably say, no, I don't have any money. You have to pay everything. No, it doesn't work like that. In the court. So, Seven, do you have an update? I do. Um, Mr. Perret is um, ordered to pay $50 a month on arrears. He currently owes the plaintiff $3,939. The state, $1,434.75. Fees one hundred ninety two dollars ninety seven cents total owing five thousand five hundred sixty six dollars seventy two cents last payment received was one hundred ten dollars fifty nine cents November of two thousand twenty one hundred nine dollars thirty nine cents was received in October of two thousand twenty and one hundred six dollars ninety six cents in September of two thousand twenty he does have two prior contempts all right and sir do you agree that you owe the amount stated yeah. All right, you've been paid in uh, a couple of years, two and a half years. Why is that? Well, uh, I've had custody of him all that time, and I still, and all my money goes for him. So, and I don't get child support from her, not a dollar. So, um, sorry, I haven't paid nothing, but I mean, all my money goes to him to support him. So, you see, the Dominican Republic system to me is fair. You know, if the judge is going to order it, it's so much money then it's split and then both of you got to come up with the funds to take care of your child. And if you need more money, you got to prove what you're doing with it. How many times men have said that I don't mind paying. I just want to make sure that the money I'm sending is going to my child. See this child support system is too open ended in what they can do with the money. Like just like with your taxes, when you file your taxes, you got to report not only how much money you made, but if you want any kind of deduction, you got to show what you did with that money to get a tax deduction, right? You can't just say, Oh, well, I, I, I don't want to pay much tax. And they're like, okay, that don't mean nothing. You got to let me know what you did with the money. So we don't have to tax you. That system should be reformed. I'm not saying that you should not take care of your children. No, I pay child support until, you know, my son turned 18. I paid child support for 10 years, okay? So I'm not for somebody that's not taking care of their child, but I do take an issue with you taking child support and you're gonna get your hair done. You taking child support and you going to the club with it. You taking child support and you go buy yourself clothes with it. Not taking child support and going buy the child clothes or get the child's hair done or the everything with the child. I think it should be a given account of what's going on. It's just that simple. You know, when it comes to say like rent or whatever the case may be. Okay. I believe 25% of the rent can go to the child support can be used at least for 
and the rest used for other things like extracurricular activity, whatever it may be. Right. But most men want an accounting of that. And this system does not give an account. This is why a lot of men are, are not really having kids in America. They're not. It's only a small group of men that got children. The majority of black men do not have children. There's only a small pool of black men that have children. Now I'm not, I'm not speaking on other races of men. I'm only talking about black men on this. You have a small pool of black men impregnating the women. Most black men do not have children. And I advise them do not have a child until you get married. If you don't get married, just don't have no children because you're going to ruin your doggone life. Listen to your uncle. You're going to ruin your life. If you go out there and have a child with a woman, you're not married to. And if you don't want to deal with this American system, then you also know how I feel about that. Have your passport and get yourself out the American system. If you're a single man and you make good money, you can, you can make money abroad you know, online or whatever, how you make money and you want to go start a life overseas. Let me tell you something. Also, what I was told when I, the first time I went to Ethiopia back in 2018, I think the kind of how the conversation up about child support and I explained to them at the time how child support was in America. They said, what? They'll put you in jail for some money, money like that. They just couldn't be, they couldn't believe that, that they will put you in jail behind some money. Man, back in Ethiopia, the, the, the man told me, he said, no, the men get to decide what, if the child stay with them or not. He said, we get We got to say so here. It's like, it sounds like America men don't have no say so. I said, no, men don't have no say so at all. He said, that's a sad country to live in. That's, that's this man told me that's a sad country to live in that men have no say so. But the problem is, uh, 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 it was men and not black men. It was white men that gave all this power to the women. Cause the women didn't do it themselves. We gotta be real. And I don't care, you know, I know some of you white guys like my show, but we gotta keep it real. Y'all the one in power. And y'all was the one that, that, that came down with all these laws. It wasn't, it wasn't the white women. It was y'all, y'all politicians. And then now that now it's out of hand, it's, it's hurting you. It's just that simple. But I say, don't get caught in the child support system and you can prevent it, right? Don't have children till you get married. Just that simple. And if you don't want to deal with none of the American system with their marriage, divorce, child support, go overseas, live your life over there where actually men have more of a say so. They really do. You can go to the African continent, men got to say. Men got to say in Latin America, men got to say in the Caribbean, you know, definitely as, as black people, right? You know, men got a, a, a say. But the only thing I, I, I say about going to countries where it's not really ran and controlled by black people as black men is that that woman's still going to have more of a, a right over you. Let's say if you went to the Philippines, got married over there, that Filipina is going to have more rights over you still. Cause that's, that's how people, that's her country versus let's say if you went to a black nation, then Hey, you'll be the same. You know what I'm saying? But everybody choose what they want to do. I'm not telling you against uh, nobody. I'm just saying that when you go to, as a quote unquote foreigner, you got to remember that you are a foreigner and they're going to look out for their people over you. That's one part of the password bro conversation that's not really discussed. It's not. You need to, I would say you go get whatever woman you want to get, but live in an African nation, live in a Caribbean nation. That way, for the first time in our life, we have some sort of say so. Because in this country, we have no say so. We know that for what, about four or 500 year history of the most horrible treatment ever known to man uh, for black people. But, Child support, DR, sound like a fair system, but don't expect that in America no time soon. But this country love, love, love to oppress everybody, especially men.